Hi guys, and welcome back to Cue the Confetti. We're so glad you're with us. Gentry's here with me. Oh, that's a close <laughs> one. We are going to have some fun with fruit and vegetables today, and we're gonna paint them with homemade paint, and we are so glad you're here with us. All right, so today we are going to be making fruit and veggie stamps that we're gonna use in paint to make a special tablecloth for our Thanksgiving table. Ideally, you would be using fruits and vegetables that are past their expiration date, not quite edible, or scraps leftovers from when you cooked a meal. We are using fresh fruits and vegetables, but we're also using a paint that is edible so it can be washed off and your uh, fruits and vegetables can still be used for, for eating. So first we have a vegetable that is grown. Where is this grown, Gentry? Underground. Underground, it's a root vegetable. It's the good old potato. <laughs> we're gonna make a special stamp out of that. I do have a leftover from making Gentry a peanut butter and apple sandwich, and I cut it this way so that you can see the star. So you can see the star. So you can see the star, and we're gonna use that as a stamper. I also got this really cute bell pepper that's kind of tiny that we're gonna cut in half and use it as a stamp, kind of like a floral stamp. I'll go ahead and cut that one. It, it looks like it's, big, but it's way. really tiny. Beep, beep. My little boy bell peppers smell, they smell fresh to me. Okay. And we're gonna leave the seeds in it and see if we can't stamp some seeds under the table too. Ooh, yeah. So if that one's ready to go, Another fun one. The bottom of the celery makes a really pretty shape. So we're gonna go ahead and cut all this celery. Celery. And I will cook cut with it. the top of the celery. And look, it looks like a flower. Can I see? And we're gonna use that as a stamp. It looks like a row. Yeah. Celery. And the rest of the celery is gonna go for recipes. New eat this, new eat this. New eat this. And then finally, I mean you can dry, it's edible. Yeah. We're gonna take this potato and we're gonna cut it in half. Yeah. And Gentry's gonna design one side and I'm gonna design one side. Yeah. And we're gonna make, I think I'm gonna make mine into a leaf. Oh, what do you want? You can do like a heart. Well, I like roses, I'm gonna try to make We've got a rose right there, so. I want another one. Okay. But a different color. So this. This is your knife to people. It's a safe knife. And you've also got. Is that bad? And we've also got chopsticks for her to be able to use to dig into her potato. And then if she needs help, I'll give her a knife to use. I'm gonna make my leaf. Oh, are we starting cutting right now? Okay. Yeah. Listen, whatever's the taller part is what's gonna get stamped. So you can, so you can do like this. Oh. And scrape your potato. It's an axolotl heart. It's an axolotl heart. I love it. Let me see. Wait, hold on. Oh, and then I just, now he's smiling more and then. Don't do too much or it'll have to start over. Little mustache. <laughs> mustache. Oh, that's cute. All right, we've carved out our potatoes, which is definitely a big thing to do if you have little ones. Just cut up some of your favorite fruits and vegetables and start stamping. You don't need to carve. Um, I didn't get some really fun stuff is like corn. I didn't get corn. We also have broccoli. Um, that's fun to stamp with. So any fruits and vegetables that you really have used at home. Onions are really neat too. All right, we are ready. We've laid out our tablecloth which is bulletin board paper that you can get. We got ours at um, Mardell's that you can buy by the yard, or you can go to your local newspaper 
and ask for the, their end rolls. Usually they'll give it to you for free or very cheap because it's the part of the newspaper that they can't use. And we use that a lot, especially when Ginger was littler, to cover a table for a craft project and things like that. What you see on the table next to our fruits and veggies are colors, paint, that we made. We made this gel paint and it is completely edible so you can clean off your fruits and vegetables and actually use them if you really would need to. Um, it doesn't, here Gentry, taste test. I'm because gonna taste test. <laughs> they don't taste different, they all taste the same. We just added food coloring to them to make the colors we wanted. Ew, this, is, this just, ew. And you can check out my video. Tastes like kind of nothing, huh? That's a lot of, it tastes like cornstarch. Yep, yeah, it's basically cornstarch. I'm gonna start off by putting this in the gel paint and pushing it down. There you go. We are gonna to continue to paint. I made a lot of gel paint. I even have some left over that I'm going to keep in our fridge in an airtight container in case we wanna do some other gel painting. I... Hold on. You can always use temper paint or regular paint while you're doing this. Of course, you don't have to do the gel paint. And in fact, probably some of it would work better with temper paint, like your celery. It looks so pretty on a temper paint, but it didn't really translate very well in this gel paint. So, uh, we're going to continue to decorate our table. After the beep, we'll show you a picture of it when it's all dry so you can see what it looks like. You can always do a tablecloth, uh, like we did here with big paper, or you can just do a runner, or maybe even just a placemat for your kids. So it is um, the process, not the product, of course. And it was fun to see what all the different fruits and vegetables did on the paper. Happy Thanksgiving. We hope that you are able to spend it somewhere safe and that you have plenty to eat. And as always, we hope that you celebrate today.